بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو جامت المفلیحات این فلا گروپ آف سکولز ایز یو نو آور ٹیگ لائن از سکسیس سورس دنیا این آخرا این وی بلیو ان لرننگ بائی ڈوئنگ ٹو ایکٹ اپون دس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو پریزنٹ اے لارج ایکٹیویٹی ریلیٹڈ ٹو فرسٹ چیپٹر آف فزیکل سائنس آف کلاس ٹینس نمبر 2 If the object is placed beyond C, image will be formed between F and C. Number three, if the object is placed at C, image will be formed at C only. The ray diagram practically. Object is placed where? Here. Beyond center of curvature. Image will be formed between F and C. F and C. Here you can observe, notice here, sharp image is forming between F and C. Let us recall our today's class. If the object is placed beyond C, then then the image will form. What are the characteristics of the image? Very good, Masha. What are the image? Large, erect, virtual. Very good, Masha Allah, Barakallah. بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو جامت المفلیحات این فلا گروپ آف سکولز ایز یو نو آور ٹائگ لائن ایز سکسس سورس دنیا این آخرا این وی بلیو ان لرننگ بائی ڈوئنگ تو ایکٹ اپون دس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ تو پریزنٹ ای لارڈ ایکٹیویٹی ریلیٹڈ ٹو First chapter of physical science of class 10th. Inshallah, today we will see how concave mirror works. To draw the ray diagram of concave mirror, for this we need to know three golden rules of drawing ray diagram. Rule number one. What is the rule number one? If the incident ray is parallel to principal axis, after reflection it will pass through a focal point. This is the rule number one. Rule number two. If incident ray is passing through focal point, after reflection it will be parallel to principal axis. Rule number three, if incident ray is coming from center of curvature, after reflection it will pass, it will retrace its path. To construct the ray diagram, we have to use at least two rules, among the three rules. Number one. If the object is placed at infinity, image will be formed at a focal point. What are the characteristics? Here, two, two rules. Rule number one is used here. That is, incident ray is parallel to principal axis. Parallel to principal axis. After reflection, it, it will pass through focal point. So, here the intersection point of reflected ray, it is clearly indicating that here, The image is forming case number two. If the object is placed beyond C, image will be formed between F and C. How to draw the ray diagram? If incident, we have to use to construct the ray diagram. We have to use two rules. We are using first rule: incident ray is parallel to principal axis. After reflection, it will pass through focal point. And here we are using third rule: rule number three. Incident ray is coming from center of curvature. After reflection, it will retrace its path. Both reflected rays are intersecting here. It means this point is a image of this point. So we have to draw a vertical line. This vertical line shows the image of this person. Characteristics of this image. Image is yes. Image is yeah. real. And image is. Inverted yes. and image is small. Case number three. If the object is placed at C, image will be formed at C only. So again, we have to take two rules. Rule number one: If the incident ray is parallel to principal axis, after re reflection it will pass through focal point. Then rule number two. If the incident ray passes through focal point after reflection, it will pass through. It, it will be parallel to 
crystal axis both reflected rays are meeting here it means this point is a image of this point this object okay so what are the characteristics of this image image is equal yes. equal of size then what is the second characteristic inverted image is inverted why it is inverted Because it is forming at center. Ah, all real images are inverted. Third one, real image. Image is a real. Case number four. If the object is placed between center of curvature and focal point, then the image will form beyond C. Here again we are using two rules. Rule number one: If the incident ray is parallel to principal axis after reflection, it will pass through. focal point then rule number 3 if incident ray is coming from center of curvature after reflection it will retrace its path so both reflected rays are meeting here it mean this would be the image of this point so what are the characteristics image is enlarged second image is formed beyond c then inverted then real rule number 5 if the object is placed at focal point then image will be formed at a infinity let us see again we are we are taking two rules rule number 1 if the incident ray is parallel to principal axis after reflection it will pass through focal point then rule number 3 incident ray we are taking from center of curvature after reflection it will retrace its path now you can notice here both rays are parallel it mean they are not going to meet clearly indicating that image is forming where at a infinity case number 6 here if the object is placed between pole and focus object where the object is placed between pole and focus so again here we are taking rule number 1 and rule number 3 if the incident ray is parallel to principal axis after reflection it will pass through focal point then rule number 3 if the incident ray is coming from center of curvature after re reflection it will retrace its path so here you can notice both rays are diverging rays diverging means they will not meet again so if we extend this reflected rays backward here we can form a image this point is actually this point is actually uh, image of this point here you can notice what are the characteristics image is in large and it is forming where behind the mirror it mean it's a virtual image i one more thing erect very good these are the characteristics of case number 6 verify the ray diagram practically concave mirror then screen candle and v stand yes beyond center of curvature if the object is placed where beyond center of curvature image will be formed between F and C. F and C. Here you can observe. Notice here, sharp image is forming between F, F, F and C. C. What are the characteristics of the image? Between F and C. It is forming between F and C, and it is diminished, diminished and inverted. Inverted. Real. Real. Why we are calling real? Because we are catching on a screen. Real. This is the screen. Okay. Now, if we keep the object. If we place the object on C, now where the image is forming, it is F at C only. Now clearly you can observe, notice here the image size of the image and object both are same, same. and also <laughs> yes, look here, ha huh, here inverted, real, real. and same size then if the object is placed between focal point and center of curvature then image then where the image is forming 
wet here beyond c e. if the object is placed between f and c then the image will form the beyond, beyond c. c what are the characteristics of the image enlarged Enlarge. inverted inverted real. real very good then if we keep the object on at f so we are not able to capture the image why why because because it is infinity. forming at a infinity. infinity yes now come this side last case if the object is placed between focal point and the mirror mirror then the image will form where we are not able to capture here because it is not a real image image is forming behind the mirror what are the characteristics of the image enlarged Enlarge, erect, erect and virtual. virtual because we are getting the image behind the mirror it's a virtual image. image yes let us recall all the cases here you have to say if the object is between mirror and focal point where would be the image of the object behind position the of the image behind the mirror enlarged or diminished enlarged. inverted or erected Erect. real virtual. virtual yeah let's go if the object is placed on focal point then the position of the image will be at infinity, at infinity. enlarged or diminished not defined because it is forming where infinity. infinity if the object is placed between f and c where the position of the image beyond c beyond c enlarged diminished enlarged inverted erect inverted real or virtual real yes if the object is placed at center of curvature then the position of the image at, at c enlarged diminished same size same size very good Inverted or erect? Inverted. Inverted. Real or virtual? Real. Yes. If the object is placed beyond C, then the position of the image? Between F and C. Enlarge or diminish? Diminish. Inverted or erect? Inverted. Real or virtual? Real. Yes.